tell you, I've been through the immigration process under the best possible scenario, and it was still hell. At this point, the poem in the base of the Statue of Liberty, Give Me Your Tired, Your Poor, Your Huddled Masses, is starting to constitute false advertising. <laughs> I would say the FCC should get involved, but they're currently being run by a human dingo. I'm not a dingo. Here's the thing. I was 10 years old when I first saw an American tale. And I thought, yes, that looks delightful. Sure, there are mo there's a mildly unpleasant boat ride at the beginning, but after that, you get to take a flight around New York on an inexplicably French pigeon. <laughs> but to the modern immigrant, that film is now a lie. A lie told by a friendly rodent. So, <laughs> so if we can't update our immigration policy, at the very least, we need to update that movie to reflect what the current immigration experience is actually like. In 2014, a little mouse made a big journey to a faraway land. America! What a place! It's an actual American tale. There'll be 500 for you and your whole sister. But, sir, my sister asphyxiated a few days ago. That right? That'll be another hundred to ditch the corpse, then. Human rights critics call an actual American tale absolutely appalling and a dehumanizing mess that will make you question why you wanted to subject yourself to the experience in the first place. You've never seen America till you've seen it through Fievel's eyes. Listen, these mice come over here, they take our jobs and our cheese, and what do we get in return? Nothing. I'm sick of it. They need to go back to whatever mouse hole they crawled out of. Find out what happens when Fievel's forced to take a job at a mousetrap factory. Ah! I'm gonna deduct the cost of that trap from your pay, you piece of shit. And discover what you do when you can't risk going to the emergency room. And coming next year, watch what happens when Fievel tucks his severed tail between his legs and attempts to come back legally in an actual American tale, Fievel Goes INS. I'll go home! for nine solid hours of Fievel being gradually crushed by a broken system, hamstrung by the lack of any political will for reform, with endless waiting, livened up by the occasional mandatory blood test. Watch as Fievel fills out forms, calls the attorney he can't afford, and lives in a state of constant panic that his application will be denied for reasons such as social affiliations, tenuous health, losing his employer-based sponsor because they don't need him anymore or even a bureaucratic slip-up yes next summer bring the family and watch the heartwarming tale of Fievel becoming both inmate and executioner in a prison of his own mind